Hey guys, it's John again. Last night I posted a video on Final Cut Pro X and my contribution to that, which is changing the Final Cut Pro X splash screen when the application starts to iMovie Pro. Um, here's what that looks like. And here I'll do it again just so you can take another look at it. So you open up the Final Cut Pro app and the splash screen now says iMovie Pro, which is uh, pretty much what it should be called. So uh, I've had a few people asking me how I did that, so I thought I'd show you how I did it. Um, okay, so go to your application, Final Cut Pro, um, hold down Control and click that. It'll bring open this drop-down menu. Go to Show Package Contents. Click Contents. Go down to Resources. And in Resources are all of the icons that I guess make up the uh, application. So go down to LK Splash PSD. Open it in Photoshop. And you'll see here that you have the splash screen. And then over here in the layers, there's six layers. Now, I don't know exactly what all these layers do, but I found once you um, change out this logo, just compress it down to one layer, layer one, and uh, it'll work. So here's how I did that. So the first thing I did was go to all of the layers, select them all, go here, go to Merge uh, Visible. There, that makes one layer. Then I'll go over to the Spot Healing Brush Tool and then just outline the letters. There we go, just outline these. Try to keep them kind of close. You don't want to go too far off or then the little background image gets kind of fuzzy. So here, here's this first one here. Watch, let go, boom, it's pretty much gone. Just go over the little pieces. There we go, now do the next part. Doo -doo 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 -doo, like this. Now there's probably easier ways to do this. This is just how I did it. So if you're a Photoshop professional, please be gentle on me. There's probably way better ways or more efficient ways to do this. There we go. And there's you know a couple little dots. So just go through, click it. There we go. And then get rid of the X. And like that. There you go. It's pretty pretty dead on. It's you know. It is what it is. All right, so <clears throat> next thing I did was I needed to find a logo for iMovie. So I, uh, I use Chrome. Uh, type in I, What I do is um, PNG files are usually transparent. So I just type in iMovie logo PNG. And then go to images. And if you scroll through them, actually this very first one here is 512 by 512 icon and PNG. So if I click that and then um, control click it, save image as. See it's already a PNG. I'm going to save it into downloads, click save. And there's that. So let me close Chrome and go to my downloads folder. And here it is and let's open it in Photoshop. Open with Photoshop. And there it is, see, and it's already transparent. So, first thing is Command A to select all, then Command C to copy it, then go back to my splash screen here, and Command V for paste, and then you can resize it. Now, I didn't resize it exactly at first, I wanted to put the text in, so just make it, you know, just so you can see the whole thing, and then you can go through and design this however you want to do it. So, um, with opening this, uh, let's see. Okay, so now I just go get the type tool and type in i iMovie Pro. Now you can do Pro lowercase. I did it capital. I like a capital uppercase here. And then make it the size that you want. I wanted people to really see it or really make a you know point about it, so I made it kind of big. Make it a little smaller. Yeah, like that. All right. And then now I go back to the um the iMovie logo and then I can adjust that to the size that I want and I'll make it 
you know, pretty much like that. So there it is. There's the new splash screen. Um, when you open up the software, there's text that pops up in this area that the system puts in. And I think right around here it says, uh, you know, version 10. And then there's a bunch of other starting items here. So try to keep this almost where the old logo was. All right. Then um, over here in the layers, you want to merge these all down again. Merge layers. And then call this layer. We'll call this layer one dot normal with a capital N O R M A L and then do file save as you're gonna save it as a PSD also um, and then keep whatever um, selections were or whatever checkboxes were selected before um, I'm gonna stick it in my whatever you can put it anywhere I'm gonna put it in downloads folder and save and click OK okay now you're going to go back to your application. All right, here's the thing that I would probably suggest. Okay, when you go back to your to your app, control click it, go to show package contents if you didn't already have it open, go to resources, go down to um, where the LK splash is. I would make a backup of this, so save this to another place in case you want it to say Final Cut Pro X later. So, you know, drag this to your desktop or to some place, or I, what I usually do is just put a number one after it. And then when I drag the new one in it, you know, it's still in the same folder. So we will do that. So now all you have to do is go to where you save the, uh, the file, which I saved it in downloads. It's right here. Drag it in. It's there. And now when you open up Final Cut Pro, iMovie Pro, version 10. And that is how you change the, uh, the splash screen logo on Final Cut Pro slash iMovie Pro 10. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll talk to you later. Bye.